Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Adipati Asain Ramawan Today I'm gonna explain uh, professional reading skills Skills number one Answer main idea correctly Almost every reading passage on the paper TOEFL test or computer test will have a multiple choice question about the main idea of a passage such as such as question may be worded in a variety of ways you may for example be asked to identify the topic subject title primary idea or main idea these questions are all really asking what primary point the author is trying to get across in the passage if a passage if a passage consists of only one paragraph you should study the beginning of that paragraph to determine the main idea <coughs> Number two, uh, recognize organization of ideas. In the reading section of both the paper TOEFL test and the computer test, there may be question about the organization of ideas in a passage. On the paper and the computer test, you may be asked to, to determine how the ideas on one paragraph or paragraphs relate to the ideas in one paragraph. On the computer test, Test, you may also see a question that asks you to click on the paragraph in a passage that contains certain ideas. Number three, answer stated details cor question correctly. A stated detail question asks about one piece information in a passage rather than this passage as a whole. The answer is often a restatement of what is given in the passage. This means that the correct answer often expresses the same idea as what is written in the passage, but the words are exactly the same. Number four, find unstated details. You will sometimes be asked in reading section of both on the paper and computer TOEFL test to find an answer that is not stated or not mentioned or not true in the passage. This type of question really means that three of the answers are stated, mentioned, or true in the passage, while one answer is not. You should note that there are two kinds of answer to this type of question. One, there are th three two true answers and one that is not true according to the passage. Or two, there are three true answers and one that is not mentioned in the passage. Number five, find pronoun reference. You will sometimes be asked to determine to which noun a pronoun refers. Pronoun preference reference questions are worded a bit differently on the paper TOEFL test on the computer test on the paper test pronoun reference questions are multiple choice question while on the computer test the question are click on question is the type of pronoun preference question test the same language skill in pronoun reference question it is important to understand that a noun is generally used in a in a first in a passage in the noun that refers to it comes after whenever you ask which noun or an, a pronoun refers to you you should look before the pronoun to find the noun answer implied uh, number six answer implied detail question correctly you will sometimes be asked a multiple choices question about a reading passage by drawing a conclusion from a specific detail or details in a passage question of this type contains the word implied, inferred, likely, or probably to let you know that the answer to the question is not directly stated. Um, in this type of question, it is important to understand that you do not have to pull the answer out of thin air. Instead, some information will be given in the passage, and you will draw a conclusion from that information. Number seven, answer transition correction correctly. You will sometimes be asked on both paper, TOEFL test, and computer test to answer a multiple choice question about what prob probably came before the reading passage in the preceding paragraph, or what probably comes after the reading passage in the following paragraph, of course. The topic of the preceding of or following paragraph is not really stated, and you must draw a conclusion to determine what is probably in this paragraph. Skill number 8. Find definition from structural clues. When you are asked to determine the meaning of a word in the reading section of either the paper TOEFL test or computer test, it is possible that the passage provides information about the meaning of the word and that there are structural clues to tell you 
uh, that the definition of a word is included in the passage. Skill number nine, determine meaning from word parts. When you are asked to determine the meaning of a long word that you do not know in a reading section of either paper TOEFL test and computer test, it is sometimes possible to determine the meaning of the word by studying the word part. Number 10. Use context to determine meaning of difficult words. On both paper, TOEFL test, and computer test, you may be asked to determine the meaning of a difficult word in a, in a reading passage, a word that you are not expected to know. In this case, the passage will probably give you a clear indication of what the word means. Number 11. Use context to determine meanings of sample words. You may be asked to determine the meaning of a simple word in a reading passage, a word that you see often in an in everyday English. In this type of question, you should not give a normal everyday meaning of the word. Instead, a secondary meaning of the word is being tested. So you must determine the meaning of the word in this situation. Number 12. Determine where specific information found. Sometimes the final question accompanying a reading passage or one paragraph of a, of a passage will ask you to determine where is the passage a piece of information is found. This type of question is worded differently on, pa on paper TOEFL test and one and the computer test. On the paper test, there will be a multiple choice question that asks where certain information is found. The answer choice will list possible location for that information. On the computer test, the question asks you to click on a sentence that contains certain information. Number 13. Determine its own purpose or course. All the types of review questions occur occasionally in the reading section of both the paper TOEFL test and computer test. Possible questions on this type are multiple choice questions that ask you about the tone of the passage, the author's purpose in writing the passage, and the course in which passage might be used. Number 14. Last but not least. Determine where to insert a piece of information. On the computer TOEFL test, that may be a question following a particular paragraph, or at the end piece of information should be inserted. In this type of question, you must click one on one of the uh, member of squares in the passage to indicate that the piece of information should be inserted in that position. Okay, the next is uh, number one, then give your opinion about reading. Um, I think reading is a cool way to learn English and might as well the hardest. Number two, what do you think about reading? I think reading is a really good skill because with reading you can understand a certain word that you don't you do not know especially when speaking, but this is reading. Number three, is it easy? Um, no. Why? Because there's so much you there's so much you must know about the reading rules. And there are so many rules that you have to know to master the reading. Number four, what is your positive attitude after learning professional reading about TOEFL reading? I think the positive attitude is uh, now I can really understand what um, what am I reading right now and makes me read more more books about novels or some yeah a lot of books especially novels and there's so much word that I don't know when and then when I learn about the reading I can easily determine what what happened in that novel. Okay, that's it for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.